Welcome back to Pebbles tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video I will be talking about how you can install Motic on CentOS 7. Before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description which might help you out in setting up Motic on CentOS. Let's begin with the introduction. So what is Motic? Motic is a free open source email marketing or lead management software which helps you out for managing your email campaigns for sending a marketing SMS and more stuff. So before getting started with the uh, installation part, what are the pre requirement? We need to have one uh, server with minimum one GB of RAM. PHP 5.6 plus should be installed on that. More of uh, you need MySQL 5.5 plus and any of the one web server that can be Nginx or Apache. So the installation uh, will start with uh, the root directory, but the root directory depends on which uh, web server you are using. If you are using Apache, then it will be via wwhtml. If you are using Nginx, it can be user as you are slash share slash Nginx slash HTML. So we need to move on to the root directory of that particular thing. So CD via wwhtml make a motic directory over there then uh, we need to move to the motic directory once we are done move to the motic directory on remote server then uh, we need to download motic so motic should be downloaded from the, uh, its official page that is uh, motic.org slash download it is always recommended to download motic from this site uh, where you need to just fill up one form and download motic so whenever you are uh, managing your campaign it should uh, f freak, uh, flawlessly flow uh, or it should the campaign should be uh, sent uh, without any bugs or a bug free uh, implementation of campaign you can say so uh, once you have downloaded uh, the zip file on your local server you just need to scp that file to the remote server by using this command that is the uh, zip file name uh, the version can change over here it can be two point something else uh, and you need to move uh, to the remote directory so the, you, you need to add your domain or IP of that particular remote server and uh, once you have copied the Motic zip now we need to unzip this file so you can uh, install unzip using uh, yum install unzip if it is already installed then uh, that's uh, good uh, that's good so uh, once you have unzipped the motic.zip file you can remove the zip uh, it's better to remove uh, more of now we need to uh, install the dependency for PHP FPM so PHP FPM dependency can be installed using this complete line you just need to copy this uh, complete line and uh, hit or paste on your CentOS uh, server so it will ins install all the dependencies of PHP FPM now we need to install mysql if mysql is already installed you can directly jump to this uh, step more of if you have not installed mysql then you can follow this step that is you can uh, wget the rpm from uh, the community of mysql once you have uh, downloaded the rpm just unzip that rpm using rpm hyphen ivh and uh, yeah, install mysql server this will help you out in installing mysql server we need to start the server by using this command that is systemctl start mysql d and these are the uh, temporary password uh, is already set with mysql so you need to change that password by using sudo mysql um, secure installation once you have hit this uh, mysql secure installation there will be some uh, four to five steps where uh, you can figure out how uh, you can set up a password how complex your password can be the more complex password you set the more secure your mysql uh, is so uh, this is the step where you need to create a motic database uh, a motic user for uh, accessing the motic database and a password uh, this is the normal password but you can set a good complex password and you need to exit the uh, mysql window now setting up the web server web server can be anything it can be apache it can be nginx if you are uh, using an nginx uh, or you willing to use an nginx you can follow this uh, step that is sudo yum install nginx and uh, start the nginx server enable the nginx server and after once you have started the nginx server you can uh, 
change the conf file or if you have already installed nginx server then you can just change uh, the nginx.conf uh, file and add this particular line uh, to particular uh, nginx.conf file so that uh, it it reloads or works synchronously with php fpm and uh, runs flu uh, fluently if you want to go with apache then similar steps you can follow that is install yum uh, yum install hdpd start the hdpd service and then enable it you can again make a change in hdpd conf file that uh, can be the root folder similarly we have done in nginx also we need to provide a root folder where motic is installed once the installation is done you can directly open your ip uh, your, once you have opened the IP, you will get some folder permission issue. That is, site is currently offline due to encountering an error. But uh, you can easily, uh, you don't need to worry about this error. You can easily solve this by just copy pasting these lines. Uh, you, usually, the, uh, this error occurs. This error occurs when uh, the user group is not in sync with the uh, actual Motic permission group. So you can set as where WW data, WW data if it is set in PHP FPM. If it is uh, Apache, then you can set Apache colon Apache. If it is Nginx, then recursively you can set Nginx colon Nginx. And once you are done with this stuff, you can just simply give an uh, permission to Motic directory that is seven double five. And still, if you are getting that error, just simply copy paste this stuff. So uh, it will recursively update the uh, HTTP desync RW content T with some directory file. So now uh, hopefully you will be resolved with all the uh, error part of stuff. Once you are done with the error part of stuff, then uh, it's time to configure an SMTP with uh, the Motic. So first step will be th this kind of stuff. Once you have installed, then this will be the first page which you will be getting. That is Motic installation have an environment check ready to install. And yeah, uh, there will be a button called next and you need to, you will be redirected to the database credential. The database credential here will be the same. Basically the database driver will be automatically detected from uh, the server more of the database host and port will be automatically detected too. The database name is the similar one that we have provided while creating database that is Motic and a database username will be Motic user and the password that we have set while uh, creating the database uh, username and password. Similarly, uh, you can follow this step and grab some uh, SMTP username and password from Pepipost panel. If you don't have Pepipost, then uh, you can just simply log in or sign up to Pepipost and easily create an account. You need to just move on to the settings tab. In settings, you will find this uh, authentication that is smtp.pepipost.com will be the host. 25 port will be uh, 25 will be the port. It can be 587 also. The username and the password. Once you have grabbed this, now it's time to change the SMTP server with uh, the it's time to change the SMTP server, port and username password in Motic. So this can be easily done. So uh, I have it installed um, already on CentOS. It's in CentOS machine. Yeah, so once you are done with each and every stuff, uh, actually I have logged into this. So this will be the page which you will be getting once you are done with all this stuff of MySQL or database configuration and stuff. Now I will be logging, uh, you can create a username and password for logging. Okay. So uh, this is a dashboard. Once you have logged in, you, this will be the first page that will be redirected. 
all we need to do is just move on to the configuration tab in configuration there is an email settings and email settings you can configure your from domain over here from which domain you will be sending email and the SMTP which SMTP serv service provider you want to use it can be uh, SMTP uh, any SMTP server uh, so we will be using Pepe Post. you can select other SMTP server over here the host of the SMTP that is smtp.pepipost.com it can be 25 or 587 we recommend 587 the secured one the username can be any anything it can be your username once you have created an account and that's it. this save and up, save and close over here once you apply and save and close once you have save and close you will be redirected to the dashboard now we need to install cron which will uh, regularly update uh, this contacts whenever i upload contacts over here the cron will sync that contact that can be that is a uh, thematic segment update or campaign update it can be campaign trigger email send these are the cron tab visually uh, performing uh, behind the hood so uh, i have already uploaded one you can just simply quick add here that is give us one email address might be something emails and i will be saving this so similarly you can upload a bulk in in a bulk you can import a file csv file over here accordingly your email name it can be anything so you can uh, import also once you have uh, imported many email ids you can export also once you have done with the stuff we can add company over here so that these these are usually this usually act has a filter where you can uh, add multiple companies multiple email ids of those contacts belonging to particular companies and uh, once you've added companies there is a segmentation you can uh, configure a segmentation over here so let's create one segmentation segmentations are usually the same filters that we want to run it is demo centos motic filter will be email so my email is not empty then send the email uh, run a campaign so i have uh, just published a contact segment now this uh, these components are uh, many more like different functionalities that motic support that you can create an asset you can create landing pages you can also create dynamic content over here you can create campaign then campaign is similar uh, to the campaign management with other paid like paid kind of stuff let's create test send to us launch a campaign builder over here select a segment a demo send to us motic so we will add this segment now uh, the context added in segment what kind of uh, thing you need to do that is you if you want to make a decision or you want to take an action or you want to apply some condition or filter so we will send an email so simple we will apply over here seven search for a custom email you can create one you can preview over here so this was the custom mail I have uh, made previously. Then you can simply add. Once you have added this kind of stuff, then uh, just apply it. You can add more conditions to this. This is an, a flow chart or you can say uh, the flow which you want to carry out while marketing if a user receives a mail or sends a mail you can do this kind of stuff just close uh, 
the save and apply so now the campaign is ready but not yet published uh, uh, so it's an unpublished one so you can uh, there is two ways of publishing this campaign that is uh, you can edit and make it publish over here so we will or just move to the campaign tab and publish it from you so now it's in published so basically uh, the cron that we set uh, here usually allows uh, to manage the campaign updates campaign trigger email sending kind of stuff so it's an important that your cron job is always up and running more of there are multiple channels that can uh, that you can send as marketing me messages emails social monitoring and stuff we are done with the tutorial as we have seen how we can configure SMTP server uh, and add contacts, how we can create campaigns with Motic, with Peppy Post. Now uh, you can, again, uh, if you are stuck somewhere in between, you can anytime uh, move to the uh, link in the description where you can find this tutorial and uh, this tutorial will help you out in configuring Motic. Still, if you are uh, stuck in between, you can just let us know by using this chat window. And uh, for now, we are done with the tutorial. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Pebibos channel for uh, product updates and new tutorials. Thank you.